What are the best certifications a SOC analyst can get? What are the must-haves and what are the ones that you should get first? If you have been asking yourself these questions, I hope in today's video, I can help you shed some light on that topic. Let's talk about it. Certifications, a document that is earned by an individual to prove their knowledge and skills on a certain topic. The key words that I want to emphasize is knowledge and skills because not all certifications are created equal. We generally want to go after the ones that are considered to be industry standard. When it comes to certifications, these are the ones that I believe are appropriate for entry level SOC analysts. Now do keep in mind that this is solely my opinion and there is no particular order. Number one, we'll start with Security Plus. If you guess Security Plus, you win. Now why Security Plus? Well, first of all, it is an industry standard certification and as an added benefit, it actually takes off one year out of CISSP if that is what you plan to take in the future. For those that didn't know, CISSP requires you to have five related work experience in order to become CISSP certified. You can take CISSP without the five years. However, you'll be an associate instead. With the Security Plus certification, you can reduce one year out of the CISSP five-year requirement which is a nice bonus. Security Plus provides you with the right amount of depth to allow you to learn more about security. Compared to the introductory courses like Coursera's Google Cybersecurity Program or Microsoft's Cybersecurity Program. Number two is Network Plus. You won't be an effective SOC analyst without network fundamentals. Imagine telling a client to block an IP that was found in the alert and that IP turned out to be their active directory on-prem server. Huh? Network fundamentals is a must and Network Plus will force you to learn it. I will always say that this certificate is not mandatory to land a role in cybersecurity, but I do highly recommend it because some people may choose not to learn a particular topic or a skill unless there is something obtainable in the end, like a certificate. Number three, Microsoft SC200. Modern SOCs will definitely have clients that are utilizing the cloud and have a lot of cloud data ingested into whatever SIM they're using. For example, Microsoft Sentinel. Yes, there will also be AWS and GCP and GWS, so your Google Workspace as well. But most of the time, I typically see a lot of Microsoft related cloud products. So your Defender for Endpoint, your Office 365 and Azure and everything else. With Microsoft's SC200, it will provide you with the hands-on experience and knowledge that is required for SOC analysts such as yourself to be more familiar with Microsoft's ecosystem. This is a fantastic certification to have because it will show the employer that you're ready to go and understand Microsoft's ecosystem, which it is quite confusing. Those are the three certificates that I would try and obtain. If you have zero cybersecurity experience, I do highly recommend you enrolling for Syria's Google's cybersecurity program, which I will link down below. Once you have completed that program, you can then try and obtain the certifications that I mentioned. I did want to share with you two additional certificates that I did not mention previously because they are considered less popular when it comes to job description. This doesn't necessarily mean that they are terrible. In fact, I truly believe that these two certifications are a lot better than Security Plus if you want to get into security operation. The first one is Cyber Defenders Certification. The amount of topics taught in the certificate will truly make you become a superstar in the SOC. If you wanted to shift your focus into DFIR down the road, this certification provides you with the tools and introduction into forensics, which is a nice added bonus. Number two is Blue Team Level 1. This certificate will train you on what is expected for a junior cybersecurity SOC analyst to know. They will also touch on Splunk and DFIR tools, which is nice to have. Those are the certificates that I truly believe are appropriate for entry-level SOC analysts. Now, I do want to leave you with some tips. Do not chase after certification. The primary focus here is to obtain knowledge, of course. Now, picking up a book might provide you that knowledge and also save you money. It doesn't always have to be a certificate. I did mention you want to go after industry standard certificates but that's not always the case. Some certificates may not be considered industry standard, but they do offer amazing topics and skills related to your job. So when you're looking at certificates, read the topic outline and make sure it is something that you're interested in and is related 
to the job you want. And lastly, network with other people. Here's a hot take. Networking with other people is more important to actually obtaining certification. At the end of the day, it is true that people that are hiring will prioritize the people that they know. That is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember, stay curious and do things differently.